with the hope that Gareth Bale will regain old strength at his ex-club Tottenham Hotspur. Real Madrid loaned their noble reservists last year. But so far the Welshman has been disappointing and has not collected any arguments for his commitment. In addition, the effects of Brexit will worsen the overall situation from the summer onwards. A rare opportunity arose for Gareth Bale last weekend. Jose Mourinho offered the 31-year-old against Brighton and Hove Albion for the first time since the beginning of November and thus for the second time in his Premier League season in the starting 11. But instead of a small renaissance, the disappointing performance of the loan from Real Madrid may have resulted in the final, final admission that the second alleged liaison between Bale and Spurs will only be a one-year interlude. After 61 minutes of play, the left foot was replaced, <laughs> including with horror statistics. Bale left the pitch as the player with the second fewest ball contacts after goalkeeper Hugo Loris did not fire a single shot at the Seagulls goal and had nothing else statistically proven to contribute to the London offensive. Almost half a year after his arrival, the former superstar is still looking for his rhythm. A total of only 783 minutes of competitive play are available, so he cannot hope that Bale will play regularly after the weeks that have been marked by calf problems. Nope, I can't do it, Mourinho said when asked whether the former fan favorite could play several games in a row to find the rhythm. In football at high level it's very difficult to do it, especially in a competition like the Premier League where the level is so high, the special one argued further. For real one, uh, for Real, that at the beginning of the deal justified hopes of getting rid of his high earners and permanent reservists. An even more complicated situation emerges than before, even without the sporting misery. Due to Brexit, Bale as a Welshman is now one of the non-EU professionals. In La Liga, however, only three players from outside the EU are allowed for squad registration. With Vinicius Junior, Rodrigo, Militao, Reynier, he was awarded to BVB until 2022, and Takefusa Kubo, he was loaned to Getafe FC until the end of the season, Los Blancos already have five other non-EU players in their ranks. Bale would be number five in this ranking from the summer. In Madrid, the one-time record purchase is still under contract until 2022. If there is no buyer for the big earn in the summer, a very bitter year could follow for Bale. And you see, I always wanted to bring you examples and I went to football for some times, but there you see another aspect of the Brexit affecting football, this time on the EU side, but the same it's probably the problem in Britain. If you want to stay informed, please subscribe to my channel and to my other channels. I say welcome to the Brexit, sir. Und auf Wiedersehen.